You know, it's, it, it's really exciting. I mean, we work on these movies so long and with just a small group of people. And to be here tonight and see the turnout, I mean, this is looking beautiful. Um, yeah, we're very excited. Uh, that's about three and a half to four years. I mean, when the first idea comes up, we just ask ourselves lots of questions. Starts with post-it notes really on these boards. and There's probably more on the floor of ideas we have that get discarded. And we start to really talk about character, um, uh, then eventually start to write pages. Bobby and Kristen are involved right from the beginning, the songwriters. Uh, they're intimately involved in the development of the characters in the story. Uh, eventually it writes songs, then it's a back and forth. It's a very messy process. They'll write songs that inspire the script. The script changes and that inspires new songs. And we work on it pretty much until just a couple months ago. Well, the one thing we knew was we knew where we wanted Anna and Elsa to end the movie. Um, so that was sort of our, our true north, our guiding. But how we were going to get there, how we were going to earn that, that changed quite a bit. There was probably 40 versions of the script. Uh, there were many songs that, that got written and then discarded. Uh, not because they weren't good songs, they were great songs, they just no longer fit the story as it was changing. Yeah, I think uh, that's a question we ask ourselves. It's really a hard question to answer. Personally, I think it's, uh, you know, we create a believable world. It's not really a, a realistic one that's believable. I mean, you have a snowman that can talk, and you have Elsa who has these ice powers, and somehow you believe it. But it really comes down to Anna and Elsa and that, that relationship. They're not perfect. Uh, I think they're flawed characters, and that makes them relatable. And, and you can watch that dynamic of the push and pull for the two of them. I think people can relate to that. Well, there is pressure, but we agreed we were going to leave that pressure outside the story room and really focus the way we did the first movie. Let it come from the characters, let it come from the story, let the songs evolve from that. Trust the process that we went through in the first one. Uh, it's the exact same creative team, and, and we work really well together. Um, uh, but you just sort of have to let that evolve. I think they've done seven amazing new songs. I think the, the songs in this movie, uh, I think they've outdone themselves. Yeah, the, uh, they've definitely matured. It's been three years, and we kind of looked at it like Anna and Elsa at the end of the first movie was Happily Ever After. But we know that Happily Ever After doesn't always stay that way. Life has a way of throwing additional obstacles at you. But we even looked at our own kids who were graduating college, and that idea of, okay, you've put in all of that work to get to this point, but now what? What's your purpose? What are you meant to do? So change can be scary, um, uh, but if you persevere, um, uh, you make it through it, and you get somewhere wonderful. But you have to be active. You have to actually go for it. I hope that they say, wow, I wasn't expecting that, in a good way, uh, that they feel um, uh, uh, the power of family, the power of um, uh, being willing to listen to that inner voice, to, to be willing to actually take action and, and participate in the world that we all live in.